Hi, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Make Code Arcade Advanced Stream. I'm Richard. I'm Richard on the Make Code Forum. I'm Joey at J1 Girl on the Make Code Forum. Uh, I'm Thomas at Sparks on the Make Code Forum. And today we are working on our text RPG. We're going to be finishing it up today. Um, and I know last time I said, oh, there's going to be this stuff that I'm going to do before stream. And, you know, I totally forgot to. No, I did it this time. Um, so let's uh, take a look, switch over to coding, and go over what we have to do to finish this game. So um, what I've done uh, in the interim was I made it so that now you can actually go into the principal's office, janitor's closet, school kitchen, and get the items that we promise you to get. And they have text for all of them. And um, I also added in this new thing where um, you can, uh, there's this add thing you know, um, so that when you encounter something, if you know about it, I can put in some extra text to be like, ah, you know, this will probably let you get into the principal's office now. Oh, thanks. Oh. Um, so I haven't actually hooked that up yet, but I added that in. So um, I'll do that after stream today. I'm just going to put in some, like I said, some extra text when you like get the ring of keys. You know, it'll be like, ah, you can probably get into the principal's office now. You know, just like a an Makes inventory, sense. basically. Like a you what? Know, like a inventory of things. It's you know. a, it's a brain oh, well, we inventory. we already have an inventory, so it's like it's like a second inventory that is just like things you know uh, about. Yeah, we already had first inventory, but now we have second. Correct. Yes. OK, so where we left off last time was we had already sabotaged a cake. Um, we have one more cake to sabotage. And um, let's just go through that scene so far. And it says, wow, this one will be hard to beat. It's an elaborate frosting mural depicting the first town council. No, wait, that's the one we already did. As you lift the last box, your jaw nearly drops to the floor. A beautiful snowscape sprawls out before you. It's the great blizzard of 1893 the year when the snow blocking the railroad almost stopped the penicillin delivery from reaching the children's hospital. It would have been a complete disaster if the town's folk hadn't band banded together to clear the tracks. It's one of your favorite stories from the town's history. And then if you have the item salt packet, um, then I started writing some text here. But of course, beauty isn't the only factor in judging cakes. Taste also plays an important role. And it would be a shame if, say, this cake was if um, someone had done salted cake. the roads. <laughs> <laughs> I need I need to put in the so I wanted to be clever about it like that, um, but I have to put in that you are using your salt packet, so it's not. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, fair. Not 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 confusing. Uh, you know what? You know, we'll do it that way. OK, so. I mean, yeah, I think it's pretty clear if you do like the teal salted the roads, right? Like if you. You don't have to be that explicit, but it's pretty clear. You eye your salt packet. Uh, Beamiously, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that works too. We have wiggly text for salted the roads, had salted the roads. You like that? Works good. <laughs> yeah, wavy text. That's a better than wiggly. Slightly. Question for your extension, Richard. If you like the the waviness is not additive, right? Like you can't make it doubly wavy by going wavy wavy. It's just boolean. Okay. Sign Arduino says the soul will make it more realistic, which is exactly right. That's why we can get away with this. Otherwise, yeah. they might suspect some foul play, but. Yeah. You come to be like, yeah, there's a it was a bold choice you made. I'm not sure it paid off for you. And he's like, wow, <laughs> I, I really thought everybody liked the story. I guess they didn't. I guess it was <laughs> kind of a horrible time. Um, you couldn't possibly ruin this beautiful. Scene. There you go. OK. 
Um, all right, and we have this sabotaged cakes thing, which I now realize is a stupid way to do it. Uh, we're, we're just gonna have two booleans. So we're gonna have sabotaged snow cake. We're gonna go ahead and set that to true. Except in here. Um, and then we're gonna have another one over here, which is going to be sabotaged burnt cake. It's the, is this the the birthday like celebration like it's yeah like birthday but Bert yeah well it's Burtsville and then we change it to Buttsville yeah yeah I'm just saying when it's the town's uh, anniversary they better call it a birthday yeah I'm sure they do um did you guys ever live in a small town oh yeah I grew up in one no oh, yeah I went to one of those in um uh in high school I lived in one and oh gosh, it's a thing. Does uh was, does like uh six hundred thousand count as a small town out of curiosity? No. <laughs> I say I grew up in one. I guess I grew up more just in the countryside, kind of adjacent to a small town. But uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I grew up. I mean, in high school, I was I lived in a town that basically the downtown was an intersection with a general store and a tractor supply thing. So when I actually say small town, I'm referring to the big town nearby, which was a very small town, you know? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Getting so anyway. Into the Arduino. I turned on something, but I guess it'll show up for you next time. Just be aware. Keep an eye out for next year. All right. Um, OK, so um, I also added some text for the end. So um, it's time to make your escape. As you make your way back to the entrance, you remember to lock the door to the office. Hopefully, that will be enough to make them think it's a false alarm. You disappear into the night, vaguely aware of the arms flaring behind you. Yeah, I add to you close to the, the plot hole that Thomas opened up. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, all right. Um, actually, we're going to take this text and we're going to put this into the epilogue because we want this to be for all of our um, things. We have this this epilogue thing that we've been calling whenever you just choose the leave option instead of doing the, the other stuff. So here we go. Let's put this text into the epilogue and then we're going to go ahead and test this code out because I actually I haven't run it at all. So. Oh. And we should start out in the principal's office. So. As the door swings open, you hear a beeping ringing throughout the room. The alarm! I'm going to have to act fast. Luckily, you spot the cakes right away. There are three boxes on the principal's desk, each labeled with a number. Which box do you inspect first? First box, second box, third box. Third box. You slowly lift the third box. It's your cake! You place the town founder's signature crimson fishing rod in his hands. The cake is complete! With this done, you can hastily make your retreat. But then again... Couldn't hurt to take a peek at the competition, right? Can we first box, second box, Stu. First box. You can slowly lift the first box. Wow, this one will be hard to beat. It's an elaborate frosting mural depicting the first town council meeting. The detail in the pilgrim hats is simply ex exquisite. Top it all is a flowing banner declaring our wonderful Burtsville. You carefully lower the box back down. We don't have the icing bag, so we don't get the option. Second box. As you lift the last box, your jaw nearly drops to the floor. A beautiful snowscape sprawls out before you. It's the great blizzard of 1893, the year when the snow blocking the railroad almost stopped the penicillin and delivery from reaching the children's hospital. It would have been a complete disaster if the townsfolk hadn't banded together to clear the tracks. It's one of your favorite stories from the town's history. Be carefully lower the box back down. It's time to make your escape. As you make your way back to the entrance, you remember to lock the door to the office. Hopefully that will be enough to make them think it's a false alarm. You disappear into the night, vaguely aware of the alarms blaring behind you. And now it loops because we haven't actually nice. made the game end. Um, uh, all right, cool. My one critique yeah. is that when we say, but, you know, it's like, I don't remember the exact line, but it wouldn't hurt to look at the competition, right? We mm -hmm. definitely, I think, should put an extra slow dot, dot, dot in there. 
<laughs> yeah, we can do that. Um, so let's see that. Also, I hate this beeping ringing. No, no. <laughs> um, Ferocious. No, that's a bit weird for ringing. Deafening ring. Yeah, that's that's fine. There you go. As the door swings open, you hear a deafening ring echo throughout the room. Is that okay? Does that work? Sure. Whatever. Seems good to me. Um. I mean, you know what? Actually, I think wine would be better. Mm -hmm. All right there you go. Um, and now for the butt. Um. We can do uh, very slow. And that will slow this down. Um, and we should probably do the same thing for right here. Ah, uh, yes. All right, cool. <laughs> you know what? We'll do it for this one too. All ellipses get this treatment. <laughs> Uh, so there we go. Um, I think this is good for now. Um, so now that we've done this, um, well, we should probably make it so we can test it with the actual items. So let's do that. We're going to go ahead and um, head over to our on start where we create our items. And I'm going to pull out the icing bag and the salt packet. So those are the ones we need. And I believe I have a function which is like add to inventory, or maybe I probably just push it into the array. So we're going to go ahead up here before the user turn and do um, player inventory, add the salt packet, and add the icing bag. There we go. All right. So with that, we can be glad that I added an A button to skip text. All right, here you go. Uh, so now we'll open the second one, and it's going to be the um, mural cake. You know, the words at the top are almost exactly in the same color as the icing bag you picked up in the school kitchen. Perhaps a modification is in order? The ends justify the means. No, that's wrong. We'll do the ends justify the means. You carefully scraped off the R in Burtsville and pipe in a T in its place. It now reads, How Wonderful Buttsville. You carefully lower the box back down. All right, now do the third one. Is this the last box you draw? And you're like, drops the blah, 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 blah. But of course, beauty isn't the only factor in the judging of cakes. Taste also plays an important role. And it would be a shame if, say, someone salted the roads on this mural, <laughs> dumped the salt packet onto the cake. It has to be done. You carefully sprinkle the salt over the cake. It blends into the white frosting perfectly. If we put the box back down. Mm -hmm. And now he's getting cool. All right. That so. that wave was a beautiful idea, Joey. It really <laughs> conveys the like eyebrow waggle that would go along with uh, such a pun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Question you should are we can we support emojis in uh, this extension with like the colon and then a few? I kind of want like an angel on your shoulder on one of these and then like a, a devil on your shoulder on the other one. We don't have emojis in our font. No, but we can just, you can draw some for this, man. Sure, maybe, but that'll be a lot of work. I'm not going to yeah. do that today. <laughs> or we could do it as like a replacement for an image. So you like define your own emojis in the game itself. You have a block that's like set emoji Richard to, and then it's a hat image. That's an interesting idea. Because then it's just like a replacement hex. Generic. Yeah, still a lot of work, but we should do that. That's a yes. good, okay. Idea. Still a lot of work. But... Um, I'm sorry, Bruno says, Richard, you should add these to the text effects to the text sprite extension. That's the plan. Yeah, I did this for a hackathon with the intention of replacing the text sprite extension. So I'm probably just going to deprecate the old one and make a new one. Um, and it will include all of this nice stuff um and some other things so look forward to that but i you know i have to find time to do it i have a lot of other stuff to do <laughs> um 
All right. So got all this um, done. Let's head on back over to our um, as I know says it's depreciated, which is an inside joke because I did a spelling correction on his his extension thing. Well, I saw that one too. It's it's close enough, right? It's it's pretty close. Yeah, it they, is... they mean uh, they mean similar things. So yes, yes. yeah. I've like... actually I have heard people use the term depreciate instead of deprecate enough times that I I still to this day kind of question which one I'm supposed to say when I'm well, deprecating a feature. But in fairness, you are yeah. making that feature less valuable by getting mm -hmm. it's rid true. Of it. Yeah, so its value is depreciated. It is less valuable. Right, so. Yeah. Um. All right, epilogue. So we did this, um, and uh, we now need to um, just do the the final judging scene. So um, let's go ahead and do this in, I don't know, what is a, here, we'll do big. Big. Um, and well, actually, I want to. I kind of wanted to clear out the text. So I was gonna say, I, is there a way to clear the screen? I guess just a bunch of new lines. I, I think this will work. Yeah, if I just do like this, I Can think that'll change work. the background color. Be like, it's morning now. But do we not have a clear log or anything? No, I don't. Um. Okay, so we're gonna do the next day. Anticipation. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. Hmm. Okay, now what we're going to do is Check to see if you sabotage the cake and put in some text about how you're feeling guilty. <laughs> um. How are we going to convey, how are we thinking about conveying it? Like, you know, slightly baggy eyes. You didn't sleep well last night. Walking into a wall because. <laughs> Some people just can't can't get by on their natural talent. You have to mm -hmm. work for your cake. Okay. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Closing ceremony. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, did your school have an auditorium? Um, my high school did. Yeah, Elementary my high middle school schools did. Yeah. were. It was always either the gym yeah. or the cafeteria, I think. Mm -hmm. Or in the case of my elementary school, the gym slash cafeteria. Um. Okay, you file into the auditorium with your class. When suddenly. Other principal. Nope, yep. I knew I would do it. I got it right the first time. Yeah. My entire book I wrote using the wrong principle, um, and I had to go through and replace them all. I was very grateful for find a place. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You someone, gotta uh, know someone that they're your principal, right? Yeah. Although in my case, it was the other way around. Like it was, you know, talking about like first principles and like the yeah. such and such scientific principle, and I had accidentally used the, you know, yeah. Good times. I do like Principal. I hadn't uh, hadn't heard that one before. Yeah, oh, really. Yeah, my principal was not a pal. I yeah, was a mine was not either. <laughs> my my principal was like universally hated and also the most highly paid person in our school district, more than like the superintendent and everything because of I guess her political power. I don't know. Anyway. Ooh. Wow. Wow. I think we did have a good principal maybe for my freshman year of school and then got swapped out for someone else. I think my middle school and elementary school ones were well liked. Oh yeah, my elementary school's administration was was great. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I remember nothing about any of my principals. They just barely <laughs> got hiding out of my mind anymore. Mm. My elementary school was is a big controversy because we had a bunch of really good teachers and people and administrators, and then the district transferred all of them to a school that had more students and more money. And then we got left with a different set of teachers and students. It was after I left, though. That's not good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I guess it's good for the other school. I mean, but... the teachers probably, I don't know if the teachers actually got paid more, but, you know, that would be nice for them, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of a shame for my, my elementary school. The little school with the big heart. Okay, so I have um, you file into the auditorium with your class when suddenly the vice principal pulls you aside. The color drains from your face. Did they find you out? No, Ooh. they just want you up on stage with the other entrants. You breathe a sigh of relief and make your way up onto stage. Do we need to block some of that into the end if statement? Uh, no, I mean, you did something bad either way. Oh, that's true. You, I mean, I guess you snuck in to finish your cake regardless. So that's yeah. fair. Which you might, I mean, I don't think you feel morally bad about that one, but you do not want to get in trouble for breaking and entering into the school. <laughs> into the school. <laughs> fair point. Um, okay, so breathe a sigh of relief, make your way up onto the stage. Um, and then I think I want to do something like... Um, All right, sorry, I gotta break up a cat fight. <laughs> Dummies, 
Stabbing. Say hello to breakfast, everybody. Breakfast, right, breakfast, the kid breakfast. in first. He blends into you in my shirt. Breakfast, the kid in. <laughs> cat, 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 cat. See, buddy. Well, I got two. Where, what are the best <laughs> cat emotes that we got? Press your All right. Well, we're just, we're on my, on my discord my friend discord we have um a emoji of um a, a cat saluting and um it's very very popular I'd say we use it quite often nice all right um after a seemingly endless amount of time passes it's time to announce the winner all right and now we get to the point that you've all been waiting for so we sabotage these cakes what do we do? You live with it for the rest of your life. Yeah. So if you sabotage both of the cakes, do we just say you win? I mean, you would win, right? Unless they notice that it was that, you know, the sabotage. Mm -hmm. But um... maybe the other participant was actually also in the room filming you. And then the third participant is the winner because that participant didn't realize until after he showed the video that he admitted to also breaking and entering. Maybe salt and um, cake is good, you know? I've never yeah, tried. Maybe, maybe there's like a key lime pie time. with some salt on it. That's pretty good. Um, what if we make it so that if you sabotage both, we you were too greedy, and we will do a 50% chance of either the salty cake turns out to be a triumph <laughs> or... They have a picture of the cakes the day from the day before, and it clearly does not say butts fill. Wait, what? What about um? Maybe they this a really old guy comes in, and he he says, "No, you've got it wrong. This is the real history of the of the <laughs> of the county." And it turns out that it actually was Buttsville. And then 20 years back, some evil person changed the name, and then the student went because of that, because they actually, they showed the true spirit of Christmas or whatever. I can't argue with that logic. I've set yeah. We can have lots of options. Like, this can be, we can sneak them all in there. Um, okay, so we, we have a few different things to do. All right, so we're going to have three scenarios. We're going to have um, sabotage snow cake or sabotage birth cake or sabotage both of them. Um, so if you sabotage both of them, we are going to put in a 50% chance right here and choose a scenario based on that percent chance of like how your thing goes wrong. Um, so We'll do that last. Um, let's go ahead and do these ones first. Um, so, all right, here, we're going to do another 50% chance here in the thing where you didn't sabotage any of them. And this is just going to be to choose which one. Oh, wings. Yeah. Or should we make it, should we make it so that there is a chance that you win? Yeah, it could no. be like a, no, you don't think so? You think you have to sabotage to win? Wait, yeah. but. The true yeah. power of friendship. Oh wait, to sabotage, right? There's no, there's no. You didn't ever actually do anything wrong. You just made the decision yeah. to back away. So there's no, there's no power of friendship in going on here. Two percent chance. Oh. There you go. Just like you, you okay win. milk. Um. Okay. So in here. Yeah, I don't, I don't, we're going to spend this entire time writing text if we write a lot of text here. Let's just get in some text and then we'll, we First can clean up wins. later if we feel like it. Um,
Should we um, really just drive home the devastation here? <laughs> wow. It's your cake. Oh. It's a bit better than mediocre. Okay. So, it's your cake. And then we're going to do um, You noticed some money missing, and you woke up at the uh, Pokemon uh, Center. Yeah, what was that? <laughs> whole, like, they take away some of your money, right? And it's like, did they mug you for it? <laughs> or I guess it's kind of an agreed upon thing, because they give you money if you win the Pokemon battle. Yeah, but, but they, they also don't just, like, <laughs> go away. I always took it as, like, you ran away from the fight because you, you just didn't want to admit that you lost, and so you lost some money just jingled out of your pants on the way out. Every time. It's just you were the worst of the three entries. It's your senior year. So tragic. There you go. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, we lose. At least your conscience is clear. Yep. OK, and um, you know, we're not going to do two different things, so we'll just go ahead and put this into the there you go. All right. So you white out and then um yeah. There you go. All right. So um if there is a two percent chance um you do win. Um and your victory is righteous. So Two percent seems harsh. What? I mean, it's it's hard to win. You gotta get yeah. It's a doggy world out doggy dog world out there on Saturday. Arduino. know. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, two out of three ain't bad. I mean, that's pretty bad. I guess third out of thir three out of three is not ideal, but. Mm -hmm. I mean, you still got chosen to be the top three. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you know, so sure there's at least like you know. five people in your school, right? You still get a little, you know, a little bronze medallion that you can hang up on your wall and yeah, be proud of. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you get they to went for cake, a pure so. gold medallion, like two thousand dollars they spent on the first prize, but you know, that's uh, what it is. Yeah. I don't know. Sure. There you go. All right. Game over win. Okay. Now, if you sabotage the snow cake, 
Um, so I think in in this both of these cases, um, you win. I think if you sabotage one cake, we're just gonna make it so you win. Um, okay. And uh, if you sabotage both cakes, then you get found out for one of them, and we have a fifty percent chance of deciding which one you got found out for. That's that's the scenario we're going with. Yeah. Pat, are you fighting? Oh no, Breakfast is just shoving himself into a very tiny paper bag. <laughs> Gotta say, it is kind of weird that you went from third from not from if you didn't sabotage either to first, just because one of them was bad. I guess you soiled the taste of the other one in their well, mind. Well, you know, they don't get to see all of these options. So, <laughs> what about when they replay the game? They're they're yeah. gonna be so upset. They're, they're, Something's weird. And they're going to notice that, you know, it doesn't ma actually matter which order you lift the boxes up in. Oh, no. Well, they're also going to notice that What's everything got randomized and that all the things are in different box. rooms and the rooms are connected to different things, all right? So let's <laughs> let's chill out, guys. Hi, Hassan. Wow, oh, you're early today, Hassan. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Okay, so we're going to do, but first, the principal has to make an announcement. There has been a disqualification. Okay, they're just the principal. What? They're just the principal. Yeah. The cakes. Yeah. What do you mean, just the, the principal? Uh, he said principal. Oh well, yeah, because there's two two principals, and the way you remember which yeah. one is refers to the person is principal. Yeah, I, I always imagine a principal going like, "No, no, no, I'm your principal." I'm like, "Oh gosh." I'm sure that text is, I'm sure many principals said that, unfortunately. <laughs> so last time we were here, we were deciding whether or not we were going to sabotage the cakes. Have we gone further along in the story? Oh, yeah. yeah, so um, right now we're doing all of the endings you can get. Mm. Nice. I love how if that was the last line, and then it's just like, you win. Wind of guilt that keeps you up at night. Da da da. Okay. <laughs> Cats, come on. You guys are trying to live stream. Here we go. There you go. TV chaos. Oh, 
Right. So. Okay. So question, are these blocks, um, are they like blocking as the text is kind of getting uh, highlighted? Or when it, I'm curious when it goes to the next uh, line. Oh, I guess it does block because it blocks. the pen yeah. text. Yeah. Um, they block. All right. So we'll just copy over the same kind of victory thing, but with the twinge of guilt. Um, Yeah, I want to do something like there's no sleep in Buttsville, but trying to think of the right way to phrase it. Is the cake we made win on its own merits or, you know, yeah. why are we turning 68? There's no. You have a 2% chance to win by your own merits. <laughs> um, we could say that that's, that's Buttsville, Jake. I know. <laughs> I, see, I wanted to do the Chinatown reference. Yes, but that might be going a little bit too deep. I don't know. Yeah, that's fair. Also, it is a Roman Polanski movie, which it you, is? Know, you have oh. to separate the art from the artist. It's a great movie, yeah. but he's a terrible person. <laughs> fair enough. I, I forgot. All right. Uh, um, okay, so we'll copy all of this into bit. Oh, but I guess it's worth noting, Hassan, there's no way out of this without cheating. You at least cheated a little bit in this game. Yeah, yeah. she snuck in right. in the first place to complete you, the cake. Yeah, you forgot like a little a little thing on the on your cake and you snuck it on there at the very least. So no power of friendship ending. Only 2% power of friendship-ish. Yeah. I want to do italics so badly. And then I think we're just going to go straight into. You know, okay, if this person so. is fainting at a, at, a, at a high school baking competition, I think I probably am OK with them taking the win. They probably oh. they're there. It's better that they won. Yeah, well, you only faint in this scenario. The other one is just you can't. Are you just yeah. like you just black out like. You, you don't black out. It's just, you so, know, it's all it's just all happening all at once. Your dreams are coming gotcha. true, you know. Yeah, I guess know. if it means that much to you, I'm OK with you taking the win over me at least. Yeah. All right. Now, if you sabotage both cakes, we have a lose scenario where you are going to get found out. Um, well, you may not necessarily get found out, but we'll have it like there's going to be a full investigation opened or something like that. So first. Um, we're going to do the scenario where the one that gets found out is the Burt cake, because I think that's the, the one we definitely have figured out. So with the Burt cake reminder, you scratched off the R and changed it into Buttsville from Burtsville. And um, I think that what we're going to do here is um, we were looking over um, some photos that the vice principal had taken before the judging today. And we noticed that there had been an alteration made to one of the cakes. Okay. And um, I think with that, we're there. We're just going to have them open an right. investigation, and you're you're going to lose. You know. So not the old there man historical reference. Uh, Fifty-year-old uh, document uh, ending. There were actually alterations made to both two cakes because yours got one through two. But um, the problem with the historically accurate ending, Joey, is that you don't actually get found out. They just made a better cake than you, apparently. Yeah. That's better cake. Yeah, I guess that's fair. In either case, you're going to come in third place. Yeah. I think. Mm. 
Then it's just like, then it's just, it feels bad, right? You cheated and you still didn't win. <laughs> it's true. All that effort for nothing. Um, okay, so we are going to uh, grab this disqualification um, text and put it up here. Oh, it's just going to happen in the moment. Wow. Oh, absolutely. Drama. McGillicuddy. <laughs> ah, I knew it was that guy. Ugh, I was ruining my stuff. Did he lose his schedule? No. All right, and then I think we're going to ally to the rest of this text and just go into the. Um, you can hardly remember what happened after that. Call blur. You do remember. Old man. McGillicuddy. Explaining how the town was forced to change its oh, name. Wow. The, the thing with it's is no matter which one I'm using, I type it wrong and I immediately notice it every single time and fix it. This is this always happens to me. I just I don't know why my brain does this, but I never I never don't catch it. Also, type you know, it wrong first. Yeah. yeah, I type it wrong and then I type it right. It's just the way that my brain works. Mm. Yeah. Um. What a revelation. Yep. <laughs> All right. Now we'll pause and do game over lose. And now, finally, we have the snow cake 
Well, no, no, no. Wait, wait. Okay, so that was the that was the 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 Burt's Burtsville Buttsville debacle. Um, now for the other one, we have the snow cake, and so you put a salt packet over that one. And I think what we decided was that um, uh, this just ends up being a taste sensation. Maybe the inside of the cake was caramel. Mmm. Yeah, salted caramel cake. I um, like it. And of course, we have to keep doing wavy. A and then we're just delicious salted caramel cake. Thank you. Yep. Nothing like having a backseat editor. And then um, we go into the you can hardly remember what happened after that. It's all a blur. And sign Arduino says caramel like the disgusting sludge on winter roads. That is visceral. I'll try not to think of that next time I'm eating caramel. Uh. All right. What a saga. All right. OK, we, we've done all of these different scenarios for the end. Um, let's go ahead and do this. So um, Hassan, I think because you haven't been here, yes. we're going to go through this final scene, and you're going to be making the choices for us, OK? OK. All right, so starting up, we have, as the door swings open, you hear a deafening whine echo throughout the room. The alarm. You're going to have to act fast. Luckily, you spot the cakes right away. There are three boxes on the principal's desk, each labeled with a number. Which box do you inspect first? First box. You slowly lift the first box. It's your cake! You place the town hey. founder's signature crimson fishing rod in his hands. The cake is complete. With the disc yes. done, you can hastily make your retreat. But <laughs> then again, couldn't hurt to take a peek at the competition, right? Yeah. We're taking, the, box we're, taking the, we're taking the full evil route. Give me the second box. <laughs> <laughs> you slowly lift the second box. Wow. This one will be hard to beat. It's an elaborate frosting mural depicting the first town council meeting. The detail on the pilgrim hats is simply exquisite. Top it all is a flowing banner declaring our wonderful Burtsville. You know, the words at the top are almost exactly the same color as the icing bag you picked up in the school kitchen. Perhaps some <laughs> modification is in order? Then we have the ends justify the means, or no, that's wrong. Ruin the cake. <laughs> right, the ends justify the means. You carefully scrape off the R in Burtsville and pipe in a T in its place. And now oh, it's yeah. our wonderful Buttsville. You carefully lower the box <laughs> back down. Now I assume you want to lift the third box? Yeah, third box. <laughs> As you lift the last box, your jaw nearly drops to the floor. A beautiful snowscape sprawls out before you. It's the great blizzard of 1893, the year when the snow blocking the railroad almost stopped the penicillin delivery from reaching the children's hospital. It would have been a complete disaster if the townsfolk hadn't banded together to clear the tracks. It's one of your favorite stories from the town's history. But of course, beauty isn't the only factor in judging of cakes. Taste also plays an important role. It would be a shame if, say, someone salted the roads on this mural. <laughs> Dump the salt packet onto the cake. Yeah. You carefully sprinkle the salt over the cake. It blends into the white frosting perfectly. You carefully lower the box back down. It's time to make your escape. As you make your way back to the entrance, you remember to lock the door to the office. Hopefully that will be enough to make them think it's a false alarm. You yeah, disappear into the night, vaguely aware of the alarms blaring behind you. 
the next day. Hey. The school is abuzz with anticipation for today's judging, but you find your mind preoccupied. Did you do the right thing? Sure, you probably worked harder than anyone else, but does that make it okay? Their parents probably made those cakes anyway, right? As 2.15 <laughs> comes around, an announcement blares over the PA. It's time for the closing ceremony. You file into the auditorium with your class when suddenly the vice principal pulls you aside. The color drains from your face. Did they find you out? No, they just want you up on stage with the other entrants. You breathe a sigh of relief and make your way up onto the stage. The principal launches into a speech congratulating the contestants. Or at least you think that's what he's saying. You're too nervous to pay attention. After a seemingly endless amount of time passes, it's time to announce the winner. But first, the principal has to make an announcement. There's been a disqualification. One of the cakes, he says, has made a mockery of our great town. Suddenly, a shout comes from the crowd. Wait! It's old man McGillicuddy! He walks up on stage. I'm sorry for being late to judging, sir. I lost my schedule. But I think what you're about to say, I think I know what you're about to say, and I have to come clean about something. You can hardly remember what happened after that. It's all a blur. You do remember old man McGillicuddy explaining how the town was forced to change its name from Buttsville in 1974. And you remember the town what? council cake to winning first place. At least you didn't get caught, right? Game over. <laughs> Oh, so the, the town council cake. Oh, I guess they wanted a technicality. Like, oh, wow, like, you went deep into history. Found out that it was actually called Buttsville. Yep. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> okay, first, I want to get rid of the sir that old man McKillicuddy says, because it almost had me going into a southern accent. Gilakari is quite the name. Um, like that. And then um, uh, I, there was one other thing I noticed, which was today's didn't have a, yeah, here we go. This needs to have Bostry. And there was a right. Gillicuddy that didn't have a capital G somewhere in there. What? There was a McGillicuddy in there somewhere that didn't have a capital G. Oh, OK. Yeah. Well, oh, tweet it find it. Oh, there it is. All right. Um, Let's try. And with that, we're done with this game. All I mean, we forgot to do the setup text at the beginning, but I'll just go ahead and put put that in um, off stream. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in for this saga. Um, on Friday, we're going to be starting something new. I don't know what it is, but we'll decide then. Um, if you have any suggestions, please come on Friday and let us know. Um, in the meantime, there's many game jam going on. If you go to the forum and go to the arcade channel, it's up at the top pinned. Um, and you can find all the details about that. Make a five-second game. It's super fun and easy. Um, I am Richard at Richard on the Make Code Forum. I'm Hassan at Hassan on the Make Code Forum. I'm Joey at J Wonder on the Make Code Forum. I'm Thomas at Sparks on the Make Code Forum. And thank you for tuning in once again. We will see you on Friday. Bye.